Hello, welcome back. Last time I went back and forth a whole lot. Um, got some stuff done. I defeated this ogre. I cleared the way to the skeleton figurine here, but didn't get any further. And I cleared out this dungeon down here. At least as far as I could get. I need a round key. This may be a uh, thing that a quest giver gives me, because I do, in fact, have... I'm just remembering the whispered key. Teleporter activator made in Living Rock. So I'm looking for some sort of teleporter here. I'm wondering if maybe I was I was talking about making another run at the skeleton figurine. Oh hi there, let's uh, let's fight. Uh, another run at the skeleton figurine in the burial grounds. Oh, you're in the section I haven't been to yet. Of course you are. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm not actually certain I'm ready to do that yet. Perhaps it would make more sense to stay on the path here, and try to uh, get this teleporter active so that I can more easily go back to Living Rock uh, when I'm ready for that sort of thing. Now I'm going to do something here. I'm trying to get to it without the map. I did it! So, um, I noticed something right here. That's how you do it. I solved the puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Just had to look very carefully and notice that there was a hidden button there. Alright, got another green gem. One of the reasons I want to go back to Living Rock is I want to spend a gold key on possibly a spirit mirror pendant, if that's indeed what I think it is in there. Uh, vitality. I'm pretty sure I know who gets that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and... Right, Spirit Mirror Pendant. That's something I should do before I do any more fighting, so I guess I should really do it now. Even though maybe if I go ahead a little bit, I'll get a, a teleporter. Uh, I'm not actually sure that's what that is there, though. I also want to see... Um, what I would get for the higher tier gems if I were to spend them in the, the places. Let's see, because it was food, ammunition, lockpicks, uh, herbs. Was there a fifth one? I think there were five. That sounds right. Food, ammunition, lockpicks, herbs. That's the sound of the water I'm hearing. Also, I put a pile of stuff here. I should move that into Living Rock, because that's clearly the central hub. Alright, you can carry it all. You're strong enough. Inventory space has not been, uh, and carrying capacity hasn't really been much of a problem. Inventory space, I guess, more than carrying capacity so far. Uh, here, let's just make a pile, uh, here. This, this sounds like a good home. Alright, so stuff I want to keep but don't want to carry. Uh-huh. Rapier, do I expect to use it? Uh, maybe. I'm not really sure. Do you have light weapons? You do. Oh yeah, this was a strength weapon, but so was this. And you're not a strength user, really. You're a dexterity user. Ooh, you don't have that much strength. That's surprising. You need more. Okay, so potions of strength go to Baffin. Uh, willpower... Uh, one of these three. Vitality, Kefo, Dexterity... Probably Baffin. Uh, maybe Harak. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so anything else I want to dump? I mean, I don't need to be carrying this now. Okay, so this is the pile of stuff I might want to come back to sometime. Uh, would you both want skull cleaves? I'll keep that on me. To your passengers, right, don't need this. Throwing knife, I don't really expect to use, but I guess I'll keep it for now. Broadhead arrow. I don't have a bow right now, but I'll leave that there. Same for the darts. Don't have a... Here, take that out of here. Well, no, then it's, then it's dark. So dark. Cannonball. You, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to use you. Okay, good enough for me. Uh, so, let's check. Quick save. Um, probably just going to open all of these and see what they are, so that I know. Um, let's multitask. So I'm going to open one of these. Uh, bear Claw Gauntlets. Strength plus four. And that's it? Okay. Not super interested in that. So I'll open one of those and spend a gem, see what it gives me. And then reload. Uh, creation Facility, that's what this is called. Food Creator. So, um, where are gems? So I already have what blue does. One bread, one lizard, one sausage. That makes... 
bread, bora, horned fruit, egg, cheese, lizard, sausage. Okay, so what blue made plus uh, horned fruit, uh, bora, egg, and cheese. Okay. Uh, they know about favorite foods, that's for sure. Oh, wow, two pies. <laughs> um, okay, so lizard, bread, sausage. Okay, so that's two favorite foods, two pies, and otherwise the same stuff. Okay, um, did I, I had another green gem, didn't I? This is a lot to keep in my head. I'm gonna try. Just one lock picks, okay. So load, don't get buttons mixed up. I'm gonna just do this for a bit and uh, get a record of everything that's everywhere, then decide what I want to spend stuff on, if anything. All right, that process is done. It took a little while. Uh, so I just opened everything with a gold key and everything with whatever kind of gem and reloaded. I picked the closest color I could get for the type of gem. There's no green, but yellow is as, as, as good as it's going to get. All right, so we have bear claw gauntlets for plus four strength. Gear necklace for that stuff. Circular of war. Spirit mirror pendant. Tome of health. Crystal shard of healing. Amulet of Nurgle for plus 50 health, which is actually kind of good and a Tome of Energy. The one I'm definitely most interested in is Spirit Mirror Pendant. I want to know something, though. Are there additional rewards beyond this? There are. Okay, so there's another hall of... Okay, so another Tome there. Uh, some kind of Bracer. Possibly Brace of Fortitude. I think that's what that's called. Okay, well, I am completely certain that I want the Spirit Mirror Pendant. I want to invest in that as early as possible. And I got it. Okay. Now the question is who wears it. I know somebody should wear it, but I'm not sure which. Uh, kind of leaning toward Harak. Um, there's nobody who's behind at the moment. I mean, I can always move it around. But I do want to think about this stuff early. Like, who's going to want the most skill points? What are you going to need? You'll want accuracy, armor, heavy weapons... Maybe eventually some dodge. Uh, athletics might be nice. You're going to want heavy weapons. Arm oh, right. You're going to want critical probably at some point. That'd be nice. Um, right. Something I noticed. I was talking about giving backstab to my front party members. Backstab is only for light weapons. And that's only at fifth level. At third level, it's uh, daggers only. So yeah, front party members, since I'm going with heavy weapons for them, they're not. They can't really backstab much. Uh, so that's one small downside to heavy weapons. Uh, so you're going to be the backstabber. All right, so you get the spirit mirror pendant for now. So in here, um, I did learn one particularly interesting thing. All uh, right, so food creator gives me bread, lizard, sausage. For green, I get the same plus three favorite foods and a bora. I don't think a bora is anybody's favorite food. It just kind of is a thing. And then red gives me an additional favorite food plus two pieces of pie. Uh, pie, I believe, in this game completely fills your hunger bar. That's what I remember. Uh, green gems only gives one lockpick. You can't even use a red here. But you can use a red gem here and create a blue gem and a green gem. Um, so that's how you could turn a red into a lockpick if you really wanted to. Um, so, right, ammo creator, 10 pellets, 1 rock. 20 pellets, 1 cannonball, 1 dart. 30 pellets, 3 cannonballs, 1 broadhead arrow, 1 crossbow coral. I'm fairly certain I'll never be using this. Uh, for herbs, blood drop, etherweed, falcon sky, or mudwort, one each. Same, plus uh, one more of the base herbs and one black moss. And then three of each of the first four, two black moss and a crystal flower for red. So that's pretty good. If I want a crystal flower, that's a, a place to get it. That thing glows noisily. <laughs> that's a concept. Now, this one was particularly interesting. So this is the teacher. Blue just gave me 300 experience for the party. Green gave me 800 experience for the party. Red gave me 2,000 experience for the party and a scroll, telling me that some locks can be lockpicked. I tried this twice uh, in case it was going to give me a different scroll um, at random or something. And maybe it's not at random. Maybe it's in sequence. I wonder... Yeah, if I get a second red gem, I'm going to try putting two on there and see if I get a different scroll the second time. Yeah, the, the, the second time I tried it with the same red gem, I just got the same scroll. So that's useful information. There was that round key hole 
um, in the one place where um, ah, it's done. Nice. Uh, I didn't know how to get through, but I didn't think to try lockpicks. So now I know that that might be a thing to try. While I'm over here, let's go ahead and make a run at that skeleton figurine. So I think I might be able to do it now. Uh, wait, I'm going... That's not a way through. It kind of looks like it. <laughs> Should be able to squeeze yourselves through there if you tried hard enough, but I don't know how to tell you to try. Okay, uh, so for the skeleton figurine, um, I'm going to want to burn down the mummy like super duper quick. In the interest of doing that, let me just put these in your hand. I'm not going to right click to throw them, but I will like pick them up and throw them like that since that doesn't incur a cooldown. Uh, like it does right clicking out of there. It's such a weird system. It's like I'm the fifth person in the party. I can hold something on my cursor, like a big heavy box or whatever. I can throw things, but like stuff that party members can't actually do. Alright. So let's save here. I'm going to prepare a fire burst. Uh, I would charge this up, but I can't hold the right click there and also pick this up. So let's just pick up fire burst. Hit, hit, hit. Okay, that works. The skeleton figurine is on the ground because I had to put it down for this. Uh, here, give me a torch. All right, ghouls. Two at once. This is still going to... Oh, wow, you're almost dead from just those couple little hits. If I could... Let's see, I could exchange a mummy for a ghoul. That might be a good idea. I could uncage you, but I think maybe I can just manage this. If I'm careful. Let's do one of these. Oh boy. Oh, this is scary, because like if he takes one hit, he's dead. Um, I could drink a potion. Whoa! I kind of don't want to, though. I'd like to know where that other ghoul is. If he follows behind, dutifully, then this should be okay. Uh, if I can keep track of where I am, where I'm going. I don't know where that ghoul is, and that's not good. That's very bad. Okay, he's way over there. Just keep an eye on him, and I'll be fine. As long as I'm careful. I don't currently have an eye on him, but I don't think he's in a place I need to worry about. Good. Okay, now I'm much safer. Cool. All right. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Things in cages making noises. Kind of scary. Uh, you can't do that right now. You can't do much of anything. You want to, like, throw some things or something? Do I have any throwing weapons on me? I got this. <laughs> Nine damage. Okay, well, that's, that's something. Careful. Is there something on the ground there? I thought I saw... It looked like there was something, but now that I'm looking, it doesn't look like there's anything. What did I just see? An optical illusion. Almost there. Didn't even have to use my fire bombs. Careful. What did that say? Critical? I couldn't see. I saw that there was text, but I, did, I couldn't read it. Whoops. Time for you to die. He's taking his time. There's a throwing knife stuck in him, I believe. There we go. Nice. Good. Very good. Okay, there was... An, oh, it was like... Hot debris on the ground, I see. Great. So, uh, that did indeed open this. Good to know. I'll step down here just to get it on my map, but I'm going back immediately. Mm -hmm. There's mummies wandering around down there. This is... Crypt, okay. Alright, um, I should have put that up on the surface, but I'll just try and remember, I guess. Still got my Create Mummy button over there. Still have these guys in cages, which I should fight someday. If I want to get a little bit of extra experience, that's a good place to do it, I think. And still lots and lots of graves to dig up. Uh, I think grave digging can happen... I can do a little bit now. 
Sure, that doesn't seem like a bad idea. Uh, here's what I'll do. Let's kill a mummy. Then I'll have a cage open for any surprises that come out of the grave. Wait, why did... Oh, okay, you stepped off there and closed the skeleton figurine passage. I'm like, uh oh, did everything come out of this cage? <laughs> no, just one thing. Mummies aren't too threatening. Take him down. Ow. I want to make sure you participate in combat. Actually, let me take this opportunity to check something. In Grimrock 1, I seem to recall that party members who don't participate in combat, that was plus 90, uh, get less experience. It looks like that might be false here. Or maybe my attempt to cast a spell was enough. Hmm. Okay, so Spirit Mirror is changing your numbers, but these two are the same. So I think, based on that not super conclusive test, I think maybe I don't need to worry about making sure everybody participates. I'm out of torches. That's unfortunate. Okay, you are definitely getting concentration as soon as you level up so you can cast a light spell, because light is actually super important. It's daytime right now, and uh, how long, how much longer will that be? One hour's before noon. <laughs> uh, a while, so that's good. Okay, so I have two open cages. Let's do some digging. Get some treasures, I hope. The Nameless One, that's probably gonna fight me. I'm going to go with the things that are most likely to give me gifts first. I don't know how likely this one is. Okay, good. <laughs> one pellet. <laughs> well, that's great. Aaron, we'll meet again soon. You're dying bright. So anything that just describes, like, a person and nothing else, I'm not going to trust at the moment. Let's see. This is a good way to burn daylight. Okay, so another person. Share your bread with the dead. Ooh. Okay, well... That's bread, as predicted. Everybody's hungry for it. So you could eat some dead bread. You can have a mushroom. And some live bread. Uh, you have a mushroom. Do I have anything else? Okay, cheese for you. Very nice. Strength. Good. That'll help you with your current weapon. Uh, and as far as food goes, I got this one mushroom here. You should eat it now. And nothing else that's... Oh, wait. One mushroom here and... Okay. And an egg and some stuff in the bag. All right. I'm not too terribly fooded. fooded. All right. Let's find out about this one. And it figures. I could cage you, but let's just fight. It'll take a moment, but not terribly long. And I would like the experience... Let me take these out of her hand so that I don't accidentally use them uh, when I don't want to. I guess what I should be doing here is both of you should be using skull cleaves, shouldn't you? Uh, until I want to charge attack. So just switch to another weapon for the for the charge. Well, but I only have one weapon that both of you can charge right now, so. Still have to do some juggling for that. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could do, like, this. <laughs> That's just silly, though. There we go. Alright. Fizzinus, uh, the alchemist. His last experiment was not too successful. Alright, so this might be something... It's not the alchemist, it's his experiment. Good. And it's a poison, poison potion. Wonderful. Well, if there's ever a use for that, I have it now. All right, I wanted to give you... Skull Cleave goes... Okay, sure. Skull Cleave goes there, Cudgel goes there. All right. So you'll just switch to that to charge it. All right, what else to dig up? The Nameless One. Okay, as predicted. Got a ghoul. Oh, this is complicated. I don't I don't like this system. I'm not a fan. Why 
why don't you, since you have an empty hand, make yourself useful by throwing stuff when you're at a distance? Well, because then you won't come off cooldown for uh, for the other thing. All right, well, whatever. Can I do this? No, it missed. I don't know if that's effective. I don't think it is. Because, like, somebody has to actually throw a throwing item for it to stick in something. I mean, it'll, it'll do, like, tiny bits of damage, but no better than just, like, throwing a piece of armor at them or a piece of food or something, I think. Yeah, okay, it didn't stick. It just... just bounced off. Okay, good. I can probably finish these graves. It shouldn't take too long. Herod the Thief, executed for Multiply Crimes. What might a thief have? Hey, I saw that energy regenerating as that was happening. Nice. So that's just like resting. Lockpicks. Cool. Good stuff. Yours didn't regenerate as quickly. All right, and we got Aaron. We'll meet again soon. Your dying bride. Of course. Whoa, whoa. Why am I... Why can't I move? There's trees there. That's why. I didn't realize. Um, here. I do need to be sure to check under graves like that. Oops. Uh, to, wait, you have both skull cleaves. That's not... How'd that happen? Ah! I have to stop doing this. The charge attack is just not worth the awkwardness, I think. You've cornered me. I'm gonna go someplace else, because I don't like fighting right there. So other than the ones in cages, I think there's one more ghoul to fight? Why do I think that? This is the last one, isn't it? Where do I know of another one? Nice! Okay, level up. Good stuff. You get concentration. I am ready to have a light spell. Concentration. Out of energy. Well, that's fine. You'll get it back eventually. Alright, hunger. Hunger is being kind of a problem here. Like, doing this is using up all my food. You're slightly behind. That's fine. You'll catch up, I guess. Oh, you have an egg. I need to be eating that. Mm -hmm. uh, too much nutrition. I, I would waste some. Alright, any undug graves? Or did I get them all? I think that might be all of them. That's done. Done, done, done. Done. Can you light spell yet? You can! There we go. That's good. No graves here. Though those are all done. Okay. Let's go ahead and just take care of these so I don't have them left over. Oh, I should level everybody else up. Okay, so let's see. Harak wanted armor. Armor. Uh, light armor's trait, and in fact, you have something to wear immediately. Good. Uh, you, what do you want? I can multitask with this enemy, just not with something like an ogre. Uh, what do you want? Light weapons? Maybe. Accuracy, you have enough to attack from the back row. You don't currently have a light weapon, so that won't immediately help you. Alchemy also wouldn't immediately help you. Uh, throwing missile weapons, I might want those someday. Oh yeah, I was trying to say last time, I have never actually built a, um, a throwing character in either of these games. Anytime I've played a rogue or assassin or whatever, I've always built them for either stabbing from the back row or, um, uh, uh, bow usage or firearms. So, throwing might be interesting. 
but I haven't started down that path, so I, and I don't think I'm going to now, unless I just want to make her a generalist, which I might. There we go, everybody levels up. Okay. And my cages are empty, so all my business here is concluded until I want to go into the crypt, which is not yet. So, Baffin, um, you might be a bit easier. You probably want... If you had Heavy Weapons 3, you could use Chop, and that's pretty nice. I don't think I have any other super high priorities yet, so let's do it. Alright, you can chop. Wait a second. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't realize this, I'm locked in here now. I have to go through the crypt. Well, shoot. <laughs> Alright, well, um, wait, you're still caged. I thought I killed you. I guess I have one more. Alright, so I'm locked in the crypt now. That's... Uh, hopefully not too much of a problem for food, because... Oh, shoot, not enough energy. Drat. Well, that's disheartening. How much does it take? 30 energy. You have 29. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Anybody got, like, something that just increases energy a little bit? Also, I should give this to somebody. Um, but I'm kind of busy. Uh, who would want a peasant's tunic? Somebody in the back. You have Zafi robe, that's better. You have tattered shirt, that's worse. Okay. So tattered shirt can just go away. Uh-oh, uh-oh, did I just... Oh no, I can get out of this. I thought it was cornered for a moment. Those rocks were protruding and looked like they were blocking me. Right, and I need to decide what to give you to level up. Uh, again, light weapons just won't help me immediately, but I think it's what I would want to give her. Other stuff could be critical. Oh, for backstab. Yeah, yeah, let's do critical. I will definitely want backstabbing, because it's really good. Okay, there we go. Now all my cages are empty. All graves are dug. But now that I've gotten the skeleton figurine, I'm locked in. So I assume if I get back out there, I can pull that lever again and escape. But I have to escape through the crypt. That's my guess. Um, I can just quick save here. It's not useful to make a named save here or anything because, like, I'm locked in now. It won't, <laughs> won't help me get out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um... Okay, so these are these go down quickish. Oh boy, have I made a mistake? Possibly. Okay. I think I'll be okay. I could have rested before I came here. Uh, this is a situation for this. Yeah, that hurt a little bit, but that's okay. It'll hurt you more. Well, no it won't. Because he didn't step in it the right way. Whoa, whoa, there's more. Uh-oh. If I'm going to be cornered, I'd rather have it just be by one. Uh, uh, should I use my other firebomb? Can I just kill you quick, maybe? Okay, I'm fine. Maybe. Yes. Everybody survived. Rest. Uh, let's rest up here. Up here seems safer. There are some unknown passages down there. All right, got the light spell, so I don't have to worry about um, uh, torches anymore, but I have to worry about food. I'm glad I did go fishing in the river before I came here. I wish I had known I would be locked in, because then I would have prepared a little bit more thoroughly. Because I just ate all of my food. Okay, let's hope that I can get some more or get out of here quick enough for it not to be a problem. Probably gonna have to make some gem for food trades. This is worrying. Warrior graves. Guard room. Now hold on. I just had another idea though. Could I escape if I put this back? Well, uh, the thing about putting that back is it involves filling up all these cages again. And the answer is probably no. It's usually no with these things. 
Uh, let's just press forward instead. Because I'm sure there will be a, a back way out. Or something. I hope there will be. There, there's going to have to be, right? Alright, so Warrior Graves. Let's try this thing that was suggested. That's not one I can lockpick. Okay. So Warrior Graves. Guard room. Another level. Preparation chamber. Ooh, whole party. Mage Graves. Oh, cool. Alright, don't need that anymore. What's this? Mausoleum. Is this one I can lockpick, maybe? If it is... No, it's not. Uh, if it was, then maybe the other one that looked like that in the dungeon I cleared last time could have uh, could have been opened that way. Oh, wait, I can only go to one of these places right now, can't I? So not Mage Graves, not Warrior Graves, not here, whatever that is. So Guard Room has a pull chain. Oh, and uh, Preparation Room also had one. Preparation Chamber. Let's go here. Best time for fire bursts. Decent time for firebomb, but I'll save that for a more desperate situation. I think it saved my life earlier. And if anybody died in here, I couldn't resurrect them. Be very aware of that. Since I have no access to a crystal currently. Peasant's tunic plus two. Everybody has at least that. So I'll just leave that there, along with my other piece of clothing I'm not using. Was that also a peasant's tunic? Peasant's breeches. That's better than those. Okay. Peasant's cap. Anybody need? Plus one, plus one, plus one. Everybody's got better. Okay. Sandals. You can use those. Okay, healing potion for everybody. That's a good thing. Herbs. I haven't been brewing potions. How are my herbs accumulating? Not that much. <laughs> Don't have much to brew with. I should put these in a bag. Do I have a bag? Yes, I do. Oh, hey, you're carrying herbs. Why? How'd that happen? All right, you get all the herbs. Good. So wait, that was the preparation room and that was all that was in it, right? Unless there's stuff hidden. Yes, there is. Uh -huh. Save. That looks like a blue gem. This room makes me slightly nervous to walk into it, but I think it's safe. A torch and a note. When I die, bury me and all my goods in the northeast corner of the cemetery. No need for any ceremonies and gravestones. No inheritance for you, greedy kinship. <laughs> Alright, so another place for me to dig as soon as I come out of here, which will be momentarily pick up. Oh, nice! That's a very good thing to have right now. Alright, so what I just said became false. I do have a way to resurrect people if I really need to. I think I'm supposed to be spending my gems. I'm probably, almost certainly, going to be immediately spending some on food when I come out of here. Since that's in such desperately low supply right now. Oh, hey! Oh, speak the devil. <laughs> Let's have the lizard man carry the cooked lizards. <laughs> he might even have to eat some of them. Uh. Okay, I thought there was somebody in here. You're a shock... shock weak sort of thing? Ouch. You guys don't like fire. Nice. 
Oh wait, there's still one alive. Got almost all of them. Okay. The downside of doing this is I forget to swap back and then he doesn't have a shield and loses some evasion. How much evasion? Two. That's not that much. Ah, good. Bread. Thank goodness. Okay. Oh, that, uh, that empty bag I just transferred, that was where my food was. <laughs> I had forgotten. Uh, that one's rotten. Uh, right, so I should feed it to Kefo if anybody. Because she's immune to disease. Baffin just got lucky, I think. I'm still not sure whether it's disease or poison. Hey! Well, I put my darts away. I didn't put my sling and rock away. Okay, well... Oh, I have uh, uh, darts now. Nice. So how's that compare? 9 to 23, 7 to 21. It's better. Okay. I'll use that for now. That looks like a heavy weapon. Baton? No, it's a light weapon. Oh, okay. Strength, light weapon... 7 to 22, 5 to 15, 7 to 22, yeah. Cooldown 4.5, cooldown 4.5 has a special attack I might be able to use eventually. So technically that's better for her. Oh, nice. Alright, so that other secret was there. This has a side passage this way. Ooh, trap. Implying that... Whoa! What? Are you walking onto... Yeah, you're wandering around on pressure plates that make that happen, probably. Or is that just a regular shooter? Yeah, that might just be at a regular interval. Okay, so there's a way to go there. I have a key that I could use to open stuff. Let's just open this. You're going to be immune to poison, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, immune. Oh, right. Blowpipe's better. Even in close quarters, I should use that. Ooh. So you can just attack to the side without even turning. Good to know. This all looks fine. Hmm. That's going to be a continual annoyance. You know what I should do? It might be too late to do. No, I did it? Good. Uh, careful of your food. Let's not actually do that. Since food is... Starvation is a thing. Let's try not to starve. Man, you kind of just have me cornered here. There we go. Got one of those. Not sure I need another. Um, I guess I'll take it along. Ooh. Can't use against those, but maybe later on something. Did the poison stop? The poison stopped. Why did the poison stop? Well, I won't complain. Whoa! It's dark here. I couldn't see you. Nice. I'm getting disoriented. That has a... Oh, way up. Maybe that's my back way out. If so, I would quite happily take it right now. Ooh! Sneaky lockpicks. Uh, just in case this is dangerous, let's save. Still not going to rest because food's so short. Oh, good! Yay! I found a back way out. Okay, that's better. Alright, so more to see down there in the crypt. Um, I'm glad to have escaped, though. Oh, hang on. Um, let's just dig up that... What was it? Northeast? Northeast corner of the cemetery. Alright, you're just gonna stay, I hope. Uh, northeast corner. Northeast. There. Okay. 
Let's hope he's not still kicking down here. Okay, got a chest. Let's hope it's not a mimic. Good. Silk hose. Plus two, that's nice. Uh, so that's going to be for... Yeah, definitely for you. I can't put things down except in the chest. Doublet, plus two. Um, it's a little fancier than that, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Shoes, uh, doesn't really matter. Potion, potion, antidote, and blue gem. Nice, good stuff. Good treasure. Okay, so next time, I think I'm going to take this skeleton figurine back and uh, turn in the quest, see what that's like. Um, more crypt is open to me, but I'm kind of trying to get to the forest. I just, once again, ended up here somehow. <laughs> it keeps happening. I really want to go explore beyond this. Find that teleporter and activate it somehow. I did that. I'll try picking this lock, but I suspect it won't actually work. Hmm. I don't know. All right, cool. Uh, see you next time for that stuff.